Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to film a get ready with me video, but not do quite as much talking. Um, I don't have a problem describing the products and telling you guys what I'm using, but I want to kind of speed through a little bit since they can be quite long. Um, and sometimes I'm chatty and then sometimes I just want to play around in my makeup. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well staying safe and um, I hope it's continuing to open up slowly wherever you guys are so hopefully you know we can continue to work together and get through this crazy time but up until then we have music we have makeup we've got all these things to keep us going so let's have a little fun um, I picked up some I picked up some new products that I wanted to show you guys and um, play around with and some glitters and fun things. So um, let's get to it. And first we're going to start by prepping our face. I'm going to use this No Pore Bloom Primer um, by Touch and Soul. This is an oldie for me. I've used this before, uh, but I kind of tucked her away. So now I want to get back in there and I'm just going to use not too much, about a dime size. So I do want to take something to hydrate my lips. Um, this is an actual lipstick gloss from Ofra, so it actually goes on top or by itself. Um, but I'm going to use it just for a little hydration while we work on our face. I usually just use Vaseline. So I'm using my pore, no pore bloom primer because my my spin. <laughs> My skin's been going through some changes um, right now, and it usually happens right when the seasons start to turn because it went from um, kind of like mid 60s to high 70s and now high 80s in, you know, North Carolina. And um, also to that good old time of the month, you know, she's so nice to us every month, isn't she? Um, so skin changes and sometimes you will find that you need to readjust your products based on that. So I'm going to use my Beauty Blender foundation today and um, yeah, let's get to it. So I'm going to grab my Bounce foundation. This is the Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation from Beauty Blender and she's lovely and she's a little messy because I used her the other day, but it's all okay. And we're gonna just blend her on with a J Star one brush. So now that I have gotten most of my product on my face using a brush, I always like to go in with a little extra product on a sponge, mostly where I need a little additional coverage. And then also just to make sure that everything blends out and it's very seamless. So one thing you'll notice is that I am keeping it real, guys. This is the reality. I have some gray hair coming in. I've got some imperfections, some darkness, pores. And I try to be very transparent in my posts and my videos because I want people to realize that a lot of what we see is lighting, it's editing its angles and the truth is it's not always real life so it's important to keep it real and show some of those imperfections especially during these times because um, it has been trying and one thing that I noticed um, some celebrities doing which I really love is talking about like how we really feel so granted we're happy to be home a lot of us some of us are enjoying this time we're gardening we're fixing up our homes whatever the case may be um, but we also struggle and especially those of us raise my hand if we have anxiety depression um, anything really whatever your struggles are sometimes they can magnify during these kinds of times so it's just important to keep it real to be open and honest and talk about it i for one have been more anxious than usual um i've had periods in my life where i had debilitating anxiety truthfully and you can read about that or, or rather watch that in previous videos that i've posted um, but then I've had some really, really great moments and sometimes in a week I can have really great moments and really not so great moments. And I think we all go through that, but those of us that have an actual disorder, um, can go through it more. So, so yeah, things haven't been so great. You know, I've, I've had a lot of emotions, a lot of personal things in my life. Um, and really quickly, I'm going to put my beauty blender on concealer while I talk to you guys. Um, but I do wanted to, you know, kind of clarify that, that 
things aren't always what they seem. And sometimes I do kind of stray from uh, filming and doing videos and being as present on social media because I need that time with my family and I need that time to reevaluate and kind of figure it out for myself um, because it is unfortunately as much as I love to connect to people and I love to hear from people it can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes because everybody um, kind of shows their good on social media and not always their struggle and because of that, you can self-compare, which is definitely not a good idea. Um, but I, I'm definitely going to raise my hand on that. I definitely do that. And it's not always good for me. And sometimes I need to take a break to figure it out. And it's okay because we all go through that. Um, but I think it's important to say, like, yeah, I'm struggling. And it, it's been a little tough for me. Um, I'm going to take a little LA Girl Concealer and just pop this on the inside. This is, like super bright and I want to just give it a little bit of brightness especially around my nose I like to highlight this really well and I'll bring this down the sides of my face and these smile lines and right here at the cupid's bow and then I'm going to use the LA cosmetic pro conceal and toast just to give myself a little contour today. So really quickly guys, before I start to blend out my concealer, I'm gonna take a little bit of this luminous setting spray. just to rehydrate my skin a little bit because I've been finding I'm getting a little dry where I never used to. And I'm going to use a brush first to buff out the concealer just to make sure it really blends nicely. And then go in with a Beauty Blender sponge to really kind of set the look and smooth it. But yeah, going back to what I was saying, um, I definitely struggle and I self compare a lot and I'll look at, you know, other people and what I see them post and just kind of think like, why can't I have that? Why can't I be like that? Why can't I look like that? And I'm being open and honest about it because I, I don't want it to be taboo where we can't talk about our struggles and our fears and, you know, maybe some of the unhealthy habits that we do. And, um, I don't want people to ever feel afraid to talk about what they go through. I know for me, like it's refreshing when I can talk to people about my struggles and it helps me tremendously with figuring out my thoughts, just sometimes hearing it aloud um, or getting feedback from the people that I really care about. And I know that they care about me underneath it all. Um, Cause that's really important is to find yourself a really good circle and go to the people that you trust and don't always go to the people that tell you what you want to hear. Go to the people that you can really trust to give you honest opinions, but not tear you down. So, but yeah, just want to be honest with everyone and talk about these things because I think it's important that we shed a light on the fact that some of us are going through a harder time right now and um, it's totally okay and it's totally normal. Yeah, I was out with my um, husband and I try to go shopping with him. I try not to go out too much right now, even though I know things are opening up just because it is a little crazy right now with everyone being home. And I feel like the stores are a lot more crowded than they used to be, which is crazy because they're not supposed to be. But, you know, people are looking for things to do and it can be very overwhelming when you go shopping and stuff now because it's just a very odd kind of eerie feeling and like some people are are really nice like we go to Publix a lot and the one by us is so refreshing like I usually feel really good in that store just from the the people that work there and how clean it is and how they stock and just you know it's a good vibe but then other places you go it's like people are trampling you just to get their supplies <laughs> for the week um, and it feels like an apocalypse and it feels like the walking dead and it's, it's strange and it's odd, but, um, hopefully this will go away sooner than later. 
you know? But, you know, my husband's never anxious. He's like wavy gravy all the time. So for him to feel a little uppity, I'm like, okay, it's not just me. This is normal. I think everybody's feeling it, no matter how chill you are, no matter how tense and anxious you are, like everybody's going through something lately. And I think it's just a, just a passing game. It's just, you know, got to run its course and hopefully things will get better. But okay, I'm going to set now my makeup using this RCMA no color powder. And I love this powder. It's really great to set your face and to lock it in and keep it in place throughout the day. Now I'm not quite baking with this. I just want to work this into the foundation. I like to bake while I do my shadows. So one product I'm really liking right now is actually um, I made a little Z palette. I'm working on some face products and it's this Graftobian um, powders. They're setting powders or foundation powders. Um, I'll get the names of them and try to link them in the description. But these are the two I kind of work with just to highlight and contour. And I'm going to put that on an angled brush and they're super pigmented. So you definitely want to make sure that you tap out and work this into the bristles so you don't get Get a blotch of color. So I'm just going to take a small M503 from Morphe and work this down the sides of my nose using this powder. Okay, and then I'm just going to take that lighter powder now, and this is on an E49, which is one of my favorite Morphe brushes, and just work that down the center of my nose and also on the sides of my nose just to kind of blend out that contour a little bit so it doesn't look too muddy. But I like this brush a lot because it's, it's dense, but it's really soft, and it's got a flatter... Um, shape to it and then it comes to a nice point so you can get around the eyes with powders with this and it's just a really beautiful brush to use and then go ahead and start baking but first I want to go in with my P. Louise face which is going to help with keeping my shadows in place and really giving them the ultimate pigmentation I honestly don't know what I did before this base, you guys, because this is seriously my favorite. So I'm just going to smooth out my P. Louise base with a beauty blender just to make sure it's really smooth and pushed into my skin. Um, I always tell people when you work with this base, it's very thick. So push it into the skin. Don't drag it or you will remove a lot of your makeup. But honestly, I don't know what I did before this base because I love it so much. And I remember Nikki Tutorials always raving about it. And like most people, I was a little skeptic because I'm like, you know, is she promoted to do this? Is she paid? Like, I know she's pretty transparent, but you just never know. And then I went and took a chance on it and I was like, whoa baby game changer for me because I do have somewhat oily somewhat dry at times but more mature lids I'm not super crepey yet but there's something there and it stays really well and it I the first time I tried it I was like oh I was a mess and then I realized how to work with the product and I think that's the key with this and I tell people all the time just go slow don't overuse it and pat 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 pack it in and it, it changes your life. Trust me. Um, so I'm in the mood for kind of like a sunshiny, warm, hazily, bronzy, orangey, burnt sienna. I don't know. I'm, I'm in that. That's where my mind's at. It's probably going to come out more orangey, but I want that type of halo eye today. So I'm feeling something to pop my greens and my eyes. Um, and if you look on the color wheel, you know, orange or rather, I would say depending on the green that you have, it's either going to be like an orange or true red that really pops your eye color. So the Anastasia's um, Pro Pigment Palette Volume 3, the Norvinas, 
um, really has a beautiful array of colors and it's my favorite one so far because it's butterflies. Um, number four is on its way hopefully to me soon and I'm so excited for that but this is still my favorite because it's orangey beautiful. I think it was made for my green eyes um, and the butterflies. I'm a huge butterfly aholic. So with that being said I want to kind of work with this today. Um, so first off I want to start off my crease and I want to keep it kind of softer and neutral. So I'm going to grab a little bit of B5 here and just use this kind of like taupey, bronzy little moment in the crease. And I'm going to place it first and then work it in back and forth. And I totally forgot to bake. Who am I? <laughs> okay, scratch that. I need to bake totally forgot here I was like on a roll okay guys so I totally forgot to bake scratch that let's start over <laughs> um so I like to do warmth in my crease um before I go in and start doing the actual halo portion just to create some depth here um and it helps with blending later on, I find. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And then I like to take a smaller brush that is a little bit flatter. So you can use something like this, which is the Morphe E13, or you can use something um, that's a little bit easier sometimes to work with, which would be a 433. They're both pretty similar. This one's a little bit bigger, so I tend to use that one for the um, crease more. But I'm going to start off with this 433. Now I want to start off with one of my darker colors. So looking at these oranges, it looks to me like the brightest, most intense is going to be the A5 up here. Um, but then we've got this guy here that we can kind of blend out with. And this one's almost kind of muted compared to that. So I'm going to kind of mix A5 and E3 just to get a more kind of bright, intense orange. And I'm using just a little bit because these are super pigmented. So you want to be careful that you don't go in too strong. But we're going to start packing this on the lid. And you also want to take it and pat it on the outside corner and the inside corner to create the haloed effect. And I'm just pressing it. I'm not really dragging anything yet because I want to work the shape out first. And I'm leaving this portion of the lid open because that is where we will put a really pretty shimmer pigment. So now what I like to do is flip my brush sideways so it's a little bit thicker and I work this around like a halo, still leaving this part clear but I want to connect the color in the crease. So you can come out here and wiggle a little bit, move your brush like a windshield wiper, and then come in here and wiggle a little bit just to kind of smooth it out. And just kind of keep doing that until you get the color intensity that you want. Okay, so using that same brush now, I actually want to add a little bit more depth. So I'm going to add this crazy like C3, which is a really deep color, and mix it into this color here. So that if you have this palette, it's C3 and E3. And I want to add just a little bit more of this into the color just to really make it nice and deep on the lid. I bring my crease up a little higher on a halo eye. Some people don't like that. I find that it balances my eyes out, but it's entirely up to you. You can take it as high or low as you want it. I'm kind of dragging the color up just to kind of blend it out a little bit. Um, so now I want to switch brushes real quick and go into this E13. And, or actually, let me go even smaller. Let me see if I can find something. Yeah, I'm gonna go smaller. Um, totally different. I'm going to go into this Morphe brush from the Morphe X Saweetie collection. And I want to grab a little bit of A2, which is that more vibrant kind of pumpkin orange. And I want to place that right here in the center. 
So I'm still not going on to the complete center of my lid, but I'm on the kind of like borderline here. Borderline. And I'm just placing this color so we get a little bit of a gradient effect. And it's okay if you're covering some of that like reddish orange. Totally cool, totally cool. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is grab this larger brush, the E13, and using that same pumpkin color, I'm just gonna work that into these bristles and run that through the crease as well, just to tie all these colors together. Okay, so now we have a little variety of color going on there. And then what I wanna do is, I'm gonna use that same smaller brush actually to use um, underneath my eye. I'm gonna grab C3 and E3, again, that brown and that deep orange. And I wanna press this into my lower lash line here. I'm also gonna come on the inside corner. leaving that center open, but I am going to connect this. Now again, with that same brush, I'm going to go into A2, that really pretty pumpkin. Add that in as well. All right, it's gonna start coming together, I promise. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this 441 brush now and go back into that kind of tanny taupe color. And we're just gonna grab a very little bit of that on the 441 and we're gonna work that into the crease just to smooth and buff out the oranges. And you can kind of work this or you can use a clean brush, whatever you guys like to do to smooth out the colors here and make sure that everything is really nice and diffused. Now using this really pretty yellow, this E4, I'm gonna take a small pencil brush from Morphe, work that into the pencil brush, and we are going to run this in the center and then also blend it into the other colors. I want a pop of yellow, like a starburst yellow in there. Now comes the part I've been waiting for. So I picked up this foiled liquid glitter eyeshadow. This is by Danessa Myricks, and this is the color Venus. And it looked incredible online, and it looks even prettier in person. Hopefully it will do justice in this video, but I'm gonna take a very little bit of that, and I'm gonna grab a Morphe brush. This is the M124. And this I want to be kind of the center focus. So I'm going to tap, tap, tap this on the lid. And we're just going into that place that we had open. And I'm bringing it right up into the crease because I want it to look like a lightning bolt of color going up. You could even use your finger if you find that the heat of your finger works better, whatever you choose. Oh my God, it looks so pretty, I love it. Okay, so I th I'm thinking I'm probably gonna use another color on top of this just cause it is a little bit sheer since it is more of a foiled glitter. But I know Danessa always prides herself on products that you can layer, so we can try to layer it. Let's see how it, let's see where I'm going with it, where I feel. It's really a beautiful color. And once these dry, because I have a couple of her um, foiled shadows and color fix liquids, they really stay put throughout the day. So you can use this all over the lid, you know, any, any way you want, as a highlighter, um, as a blush. I mean, however you choose. The, 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 blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the choice is yours. But I really like it. It's super pretty, super foiled, sexy, different. Now I do still feel like I want a little pop more of color. So I'm going to grab D5, which is this awesome foiled pigment from the Anastasia palette. And I'm just going to take that on my finger and blend and tap that in. 
With whatever is left on my 433, I am just going to very gently circle this into the inside corner and the outside corner here. And I just want to smoke this out just a little bit more. I'm going to take it underneath my lash line and smoke it up a little bit. Okay. Now I want to dust away some of this powder so we can start doing eyeliner and all that good stuff. So one product I've really been loving are these Shockwave Neon Liners from LA Girl Cosmetics. And this is Eye Screamin' and it is a super bright yellow. And I thought, well, since we have basically like a peach lemonade vibe going on, we should try this in the waterline. Now I want to use liquid liner on top because for me an eye look like this isn't really complete without some liner and lashes and I'm going to use the Maybelline Hyper Easy liquid pen so shake it up to activate it. So I have extremely intense liner for days because I just couldn't decide if I wanted it super wingy thick or simple. Usually when I do um a halo eye, I'll sometimes just do a very short liner, but I was just in the mood to just be super extreme today because I feel like that's how my emotions <laughs> have been. So yeah, why not? Um, I'm going to grab a little bit of this really pretty yellow gold C1 and put that on the inside corner using a small little flat brush from Morphe. Yes, I use a lot of Morphe brushes, guys. It's just inevitable inevitable and pack it in so while that kind of all sets in place and dries down I want to go ahead and just touch up a little bit so I'm going to take this lighter color in these Graftobian powders and I'm going to use a Morphe R31 brush which is a really pretty flat setting brush and I want to bring this all around the sides of my nose and underneath here, just to almost give like a highlighted kind of matte highlight, 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 honey, a matte highlight. And I'm going down the sides of my nose here and into the contour that I had placed earlier, just to make sure that it is definitely blended because the worst thing that can happen is when you look really good under the lights and then you go outside into natural lighting and it looks like you've got some brown smeared on your nose and that's just never pretty. All right guys, and if you've watched my videos enough, you know I love to warm up my cheeks um, because I do find that contour does a great job, but you need a little bit more boost and warmth and energy. So I always use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the color bronzer, I think, sun-kissed bronzer, and I use a nice big fluffy brush for this. Work the product in, tap it out, and we are just going to smile and plump up those cheeks and place this bronzer where we would normally kind of get kissed by the sun. And now that we've got so much beautifulness on our face, our complexion is popping, we need a little bit of cheek color to kind of balance it out. So I'm going to be using this NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush, and this is the color Rose and Play. It's funny because it's super rosy, but it almost pulls a little bit like corally on me. So it's salmon, my favorite color, salmon. Okay, and now I do want to somehow incorporate this Danessa Myricks um, glitter shadow back into the look somehow. So let me figure that out. Call me crazy, y'all. I'm going to try to figure out how to get this on my cheekbone. So I'm going to use this little duo fiber brush from e.l.f. and just work that in and see if somehow I can sprinkle this in my cheek it's subtle it's subtle on camera in person it's definitely brighter but I want to use this on the cheeks here we're there honey see I think you can see a little bit right it's not super strong I think if I had a deeper skin tone it would probably look better but in person it's really popping and I love it. it looks really cool all right so I picked up a um 
mascara. I don't know if this is new. I've, I've used Lash Stiletto in the past and it said extra long. So I don't know if it's a new formula, if it's a new version of it, or if it's the same classic. However, I love it. So let's go ahead and use it. All right, guys. So I went ahead and put lashes on just because I wanted to. <laughs> um, but yes, I went ahead and put on my Stellar Lashes by Trinity Lash Co. If you don't know, now you know. I love, love, love these. And I always um, kind of pre-curl and just like twist them and bend them because if you've been using them a couple of times, you want to make sure that they still look brand new. So this Morphe tweezer, you guys, I don't know if you can see that, is super messy and dirty. I apologize. But it is great because it is basically a micro tweezer or tweezer hello lash curler and it's really great to get around the lash and kind of curl it before you put it on so there you go I'm going to do a little bit of my brow on camera since I'm kind of brow shy everybody's got something they're working on they're trying to get better at and brows is definitely it for me it's my least favorite part of makeup too I'm going to use the Anastasia brow definer in the color dark brown One thing I love with this particular um, pencil is because it's angled and it's thicker and it has that like flat edge, I find if I work from the top first, I can get a more precise brow and a more natural looking brow since I don't have a whole lot of brow of my own. That's just my forte. I think what I've learned over the years is brows is basically what you like, how you make it, and what works best for you. So let me finish my brows up and we'll come back to finish this look together. Okay, y'all, she is pigmented. This is the Superstay Matte Ink and um, I did not think it was going to be as dark, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. So let's see how it looks with the Diamond Drip Lip Topper. Ooh, she is fierce, honey. All right, let's set Little Luminous Setting Mist. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. And it's super glossy, super glowy, super monochromatic, and um, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. Um, I definitely did not expect this lipstick to come out this way. And sometimes it's so hard because in the drugstore, I am not one of those people. Okay. And I will honestly say this. I don't open lipsticks and nail polishes. I don't smear stuff. I hate that. That is my pet peeve. When I go to a Target, a Walmart, a Walgreens, I hate when people smear products all over the place. I'd rather take it home, try it out. And if it doesn't work out, go right to customer service and hand it back and say, mm, I'm not feeling it. Um, <laughs> so, okay, let's recap. Um, you guys already know, I love this bounce foundation and, um, I love Anastasia palettes. I've done a couple of looks now on my channel with the pro palettes, which are definitely my favorite Anastasia products. And then of course we have the Danessa Myricks glitter glow here, this color flip color fix foil, and you can use it for eyes, lips, cheek, a, um, and it's really, really great. I have a bunch of these. Um, they are a little pricey. They're a little bougie, but you know, again, you pay for what you get love it um and then the lashes are trinity lash co of course my fave 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 right now um lips are maybelline gloss is nyx i mean face and bake graftobian um i love 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 these powders they just blend seamlessly they really give you a beautiful sculpted face and they're high definition so it looks great in photography it's great for pro artists if you want to pop it in your kit build your own palette i purchased mine through um camera ready cosmetics.com so yes look them up if you haven't already again we used my og no poor problem love that and um a little recap on what i was saying earlier just about how it's okay to not be okay and it's okay to talk about it and talk about how we really feel during everything i've had lots of bouts of anxiety i've had some panic attacks um i'm an open book I don't want to um, sugarcoat anything, make my life ever seem like it's perfect because it's not. Um, 
and sometimes I do. I hide away a little bit. I feel all the feels. I self-compare. I judge myself. It's been a struggle, and I'm a curvy woman. I'm a plus-size woman, and uh, most of the time I'm honestly okay with that, and I'm proud of that. I am who I am, and I've really fought hard to find comfort and love, you know, myself. But when the world is so against plus-size women and um, doctors especially can be so rude and hurtful, they just want to jump to that as the reason behind everything. And I do believe in science and medicine. I do understand certain risk factors. Um, but I have really good blood pressure. I have really good cholesterol. My numbers are everywhere that they would want them to be. Um, the only thing that's not is a number on a scale. So this is vulnerable for me. It's a lot, it's hard to talk about, but I want to talk about it because, um, I think we focus so much on people's weight as part of their identity and who they are, but that's just one tiny factor of who someone is. And at the end of the day, yes, you always want to be healthy and take good care of yourself. But, um, but it, it set me back emotionally. It put me in a little bit of a, a headspace of not good enough and, haven't really been there in a while, but I, I felt it. So I'm trying to get past that. Um, and I will. I always do. This too shall pass. But just want to be open with you guys. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will link products down below for you guys. If you have any questions, please reach out. Comments, I would love to hear from everyone. Um, and I'll try to keep posting regularly because it does make me feel good. Gives me confidence. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you really soon.